coming up today on River Cottage Lockdown Kitchen, store cupboard chachuca. All you need is these three basic ingredients, tin of tomatoes, large onion, a few eggs. Hello and welcome to River Cottage Lockdown Kitchen. I hope you're all managing to stay well and eat well. For my first lockdown recipe, I'm going to cook a fantastic North African chachuca. It sounds exotic and a little bit complicated, but actually it's incredibly easy. And if you've got a tin of tomatoes, a large onion and some eggs, ideally four, then you can definitely make this dish. If you've got a few extras, like maybe a tin of chickpeas, some spices, a potato, I've got this sweet potato, then it's going to be even more substantial, even more delicious and feed a few more of your family. You can scale up this recipe very easily. Let's go. So I'm starting by just sizzling the sliced onions and a little scrap of garlic in a little bit of oil until the onions are nice and tender. Ideally you do this in a fairly small frying pan that's also oven proof. But you can transfer the dish from the frying pan to an oven proof dish before it bakes. You can let the onions take a little bit of colour, but not too much. In go the tomatoes, one whole chin. I think I'm going to hang on to my chickpeas for now and just put in half a sweet potato, cut into dice. A little splash of water just to loosen it up at this point. Just going to pop the lid on for a few minutes to help that sweet potato cook through. Really the simplest version of this saucy base, tomatoes, onions and a little bit of spice, is delicious. If you can pimp it up with a few beans, my sweet potato, anything else you've got in the larder, even half a tin of baked beans, even better. Now we get to the fun bit and the slightly nerve-wracking bit because I'm going to put my eggs in a chachuca and of course I want them to look beautiful, I don't want the yolks to break. Turn the heat off so it's not bubbling. Start by making one egg sized hole here. tight fit in my little pan and I can see I'm only going to get two eggs in this time. Yes. Extra little twist of pepper. And into a preheated oven at 200 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes till the eggs are set but the yolks should still be running. How's it doing? Remember, of course, the handle of that pan is very hot. Oh, they look good. Just a little bit of wobble still in the yolks. Final pinch of salt over the eggs. Never forgetting that the handle of this frying pan is extremely hot. This is an amazing treat from some really simple store cupboard ingredients. This is enough to feed two generously and if you want to make it go a little bit further, dish it up with some rice. Or if you can lay your hands on it, one of these, a slice of bread.
That is lockdown lush.